Hi everyone, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to walk you through a Python program that I wrote using the graphics.py library. And uh, before I walk you through some of the code that I used, let me just take you over to this page. Uh, it tells you about John Zell, who is uh, the professor that wrote graphics.py. And uh, if you click on this link right here, uh, it'll take you over to his website at Wartburg College, and I will uh, put this link down in the description for this video. But if you click on this link here, it takes you over to his page. And if you click right here, you can download the graphics.py library. And when you do that, you want to save it in the same folder or the same directory that you're running your program from. Otherwise, you will probably encounter errors. And uh, beneath this link here, we have links for the reference guide. Uh, this one in PDF that we were just looking at uh, gives you everything you need to work with this library. Uh, gives you all the methods and parameters that they take uh, to do things like uh, create a graphics window object, give it a title, set the width and the height. Uh, do things like set the background color, check for different events like a mouse click or a keyboard entry. Uh, does the, uh, gives you things like uh, methods to move an object or clone an object. So it's uh, pretty comprehensive and it uh, gives you everything you need to work with graphics.py. And uh, let me just take you back to the example that I did. Uh, first thing you want to do obviously is you want to import uh, graphics library and then moving on to the main method I'll, I'll come back to this part in a second but moving into the main method uh, we want to call graph win to create a graphics window object uh, which looks like this and we want to give it a title okay which you can see up here in the corner and we want to set the width and the height and then you can do things like set the background color and then within this window we see this circle object here. And the way we did that is that we pick a point within the window and we uh, make that point our, the center of our circle object. And then we choose a radius to uh, determine the size of the circle. And then we set the color. And then we call the draw method to draw that circle object within the graphics window. And uh, similar to that, we draw our text up here in the top by picking points where we want the text to be placed, type out our text, set the color, and then we call the draw method again for each line of text. Uh, now, this program here, what it does is it takes this circle object and moves it within the window and gives it the appearance of bouncing off the walls of the window. So just to show you, if I click to start, circle moves, and every time it hits a vertical or horizontal wall, it bounces off of those walls and it changes direction. And it keeps moving until I click one more time to pause. And then if it gives me the direction up here, click one more time to close this window, and then we're done. So. How did we do that? Okay. Now, to move that circle object, we call the move method. But that by itself doesn't move the circle at the speed that we want. Because if we just did the move method alone, then that circle would be moving so fast that we couldn't really see it. So, Coming back to this delay method that we call right here, okay? The reason why we do the delay is to slow the movement down so that we can actually see it with our eye. Um, and what I chose to do is use two for loops. This inner for loop here passes at a range of a thousand, and then this outside for loop I set to 400. And you can play around with those numbers to uh, adjust the speed to whatever you want the ball to be moving at. But, you know, we call this delay method to slow down the movement of the circle. And then as far as 
giving it the appearance of bouncing off the walls, what we have to do here is we have to get the center of the circle object and we have to monitor it. We have to monitor the X and Y coordinates of that circle object. And if that circle object encounters one of these outside walls, okay, then it is asked to change direction. And we have this uh, plus or minus 30 here to account for the radius because we don't want the center of the circle to hit one of the walls and then bounce, giving it the appearance that like it halfway disappears into the wall and then bounces. We want the outside of the circle to hit the wall and then bounce. So that's why we have this plus or minus 30 uh, to account for that. And then if you remember, we click the mouse to pause the movement. So we want to check for that mouse event. And if that happens, what it does is it ends the while loop and gives us that final uh, set of text that asks us to click one more time to close the window and then we're done. So that's it for this program. Uh, hopefully you learned something by watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed making it and I hope you have a great day.